All right, we want to swing things back over to weather. Anthony will pick up our coverage. We do have that severe thunderstorm warning in extreme southern Tuscarawas County. You have any updates for us, AC? Yeah, most of us are going to be missing out on the hail threat from this, but we do are we will continue to watch this severe thunderstorm warning. We do have some pop-up heavy downpours near the lake shore, near uh, this lake breeze we have pushing down to the south. But meanwhile, here is this severe thunderstorm warning until 530. We're looking at radar indication, maybe some stronger wind gusts, but when it comes to the hail tracker, not all that impressive possibility of seeing some quarter size hail, but where we have the hill core, if there's any hill with this particular cell, it's going to be skirting our southernmost communities in southern Tuscarawas County. Again, most of us will be uh, pushing down to the south. Meanwhile, near the metro, we do have some heavy downpours to talk about. Near Bedina County, we're looking at Richfield. Uh, over to uh, closer to uh, I-77 where we have uh, this heavy downpour, but off to the east where it comes to the rainfall rates where you see the purple and also the pink. That's indicating rainfall rates up to two to three inches per hour. All this activity is moving to the east at about 20 miles an hour. So luckily the flash flooding risk will remain on the minimum side, but we could be looking at some more heavy downpours popping up between now and eight o'clock. All this activity is associated with a warm front. We're in a warm sector of this low pressure system that's uh, rotating in our direction and will be arriving here by tomorrow afternoon. And most importantly, it is associated with our next inbound cold front, and that's going to bring major changes on the way as we progress throughout late week. So here it is for your Wednesday morning, right into the early afternoon. We do it all again with more showers and thunderstorms, some of which could be producing brief damaging wind gusts and also some large size hail. And cold front, this cold front will be sliding through as we uh, get closer to tomorrow afternoon and evening, but most importantly, the drier, refreshing air doesn't arrive here until deeper into the morning, into the early Thursday afternoon. So for tonight, we're going to be cooling off into the low 60s. We we'll get the storms out of here as we progress beyond sunset. And for tomorrow, we're going to be timing out some more showers and storms. But this time, it's going to have a little bit more momentum because of uh, that cold front I was speaking of. But impacts to your weather, specifically between the hours of noon and 8 o'clock for Wednesday, downpours and brief heavy a wind gust is going to be a likelihood with some of these storms. Very low end threat with all of this, but have the umbrellas just in case. Off to a dry start for your Wednesday morning. Then by the afternoon, especially post lunchtime, we're looking at some pop up showers and storms. Cold front will be advancing through as we get closer to the late afternoon and early evening. But again, not a widespread threat of heavy rainfall, but this is going to be our best bet of seeing any widespread activity as we close out your work week. A north breeze will be blowing through by Thursday morning into the early afternoon. How much rainfall? Not a lot going throughout the next 36 hours. So it seems likely the moderate drought conditions will continue. 85 for a high for tomorrow. Only the upper 70s for your Thursday afternoon. Low 80s for your Friday. Sunny skies continuing for your Saturday. I think things are looking good for this upcoming weekend. So a little bit more stormy activity for this afternoon. We'll keep a close eye to the radar. All right, very good. That is a summertime forecast. Thank you, AC. Appreciate it. Mm -hmm.